After a little bit of time gating from the Destiny devs, we were finally awarded with the final version of one of my favorite weapons from this season. A very unique weapon and one of the coolest ones we've gotten this season, definitely. I'm talking about the Wishkeeper Exotic Bow. And with the Hatchling refit, in combination with a tried and true Warlock Exotic, we can get full potential out of this exotic and synergize it with our subclass for amazing endgame potential. If that sounds good to you, very quickly subscribe to the channel and click that bell icon. We're uploading Destiny videos every week and comment down below if you want to see any other games or builds covered in Destiny 2. Thank you so much. The weapon we're talking about today is Wishkeeper. This is a strand bow dropping from the Starcrossed exotic mission newly added to Destiny 2 in Season 23. Now to get access to that mission yourself, you're going to need to progress through your seasonal story quest and then talk to Marasov in the Helm. That will give you access to the exotic mission, also in the Helm, and then once you complete a few runs on Legendary Mode, which I promise is not that difficult, you'll gain access to the four additional refits or perk options for this weapon. Those are Vorpal, Hatchling, Multi-Threaded Snare to trap more targets, and Enduring Snare Refit to make the web of traps last longer. Now for Warlocks, especially with Swarmers, I highly recommend the Hatchling Refit. This states Precision Final Blows or Rapidly Defeating Targets with a Non-Precision Weapon spawns a Threadling at the target's location. This will definitely help with a lot of the ad clear, and pairing it with Swarmers and Strand will synergize beautifully. As well as the intrinsic trait Snare Weaver 4. Precision hits and final blows build energy toward a Snare Weaver arrow that can be fired from the hip. On impact, Snare Weaver arrows create a pattern of traps that suspend nearby targets. Now this is really interesting because it seems that sometimes the hatchling or threadling final blows that jump on a target will proc Snare Weaver, so you don't need to get a full stack or full charges by, it by just using the weapon yourself. Hatchling will sometimes proc it, making it a little bit easier to access and activate. It's interesting. It doesn't always work and it's kind of rare, but when it does, it definitely helps. And obviously we're going to pair that with Silkbound Slayer. This weapon deals bonus damage to suspended targets. Gain faster draw time for a short duration when you suspend a target from any source or damage a suspended target with this weapon. And that's the reason why if you want to, you could go all in on suspend and run Forpal here for a little bit of extra damage in those endgame activities, you can chunk champions with this weapon. But as a warlock with swarmers, you gotta run hatchling. Like I said, the swarmers exotic trait is swarmers. Destroying a tangle spawns a threadling. Your threadlings unravel targets that they damage. It's nothing too fancy, but it just works very, very well. Synergizes with the Wishkeeper exotic bow. And with our subclass here, we're going to be using the Grapple Warlock build. Super, super fun. Grapple Grenade here, obviously. Mindspun Invocation. The Wanderer. Next, Threat of Continuity, Generation, Wisdom, and Evolution. We're going to be running around grappling to things, spawning Threadlings, using our weapons, spawning even more Threadlings, and they're all buffed through Swarmers. Then we can suspend and unravel we can do everything on strand it's amazing pair that with a nice heavy weapon to chunk through those bosses and you're done a very very simple but fun build that can carry you through a lot of activities check it out guys
All right, everyone. I really hope you enjoyed that. This is taking Strand and Swarmers, Hatchling, and Threadlings to the highest potential. It's so much fun. And I've had a ton of fun using this in endgame activities, low to mid tier activities as well. It just dominates across the board. Again, you're going to want to run Wishkeeper with Swarmers. And you can grab Wishkeeper from the exotic Starcrossed mission available in the helm. Thank you all very, very much for checking out this video. And I want to say thank you so much for the support to end off the year last year and starting off this year. We're a brand new channel, as you can see, and I'm loving all of the support. Thank you so, so much. I cannot do this without you. So again, I appreciate you all. If you want to see any other builds or weapons covered in Destiny 2, please feel free to comment them down below, as well as anything else you'd like to see game-wise. Thank you all so much for checking this out again, and as always, have a great rest of your day. I'll see you around.